You're all so pretty, Annie. You girls are pretty too. Are you checking yourself out? Oh goodness, you're so precious. Oh goodness. You're so pretty. You always want to suck on my finger. No, 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 no. You're so pretty. You are so pretty. Mocha had this first ginormous baby and soon after came baby number two. When I saw them, they were very similar. They were both girls and I just couldn't make up my mind of which one I was going to keep. Who is going to be able to stay and who is going to be able to go and the benefits of keeping litter sisters if I'm lucky enough to get a couple of them. So this is Brie and Gaia's story. If you want to watch this full video of their births, it will be linked on the top of the screen and in the description box down below. That bench over there is the scratching posts. Like literally. Sometimes I hear it like banging on the floor and it's them just going under to scratch themselves. And then it just falls on the ground. There it goes. Number two. <laughs> if it's not me doing things to serve my goats, I don't know where it is. Are you all scratched up? Good. Her sister is also very... Oh, here she comes. Scratching post. Yeah, they do look very, very similar. Gaia, the one in the pretty pink color, she is a little bit more... Uh, she's bigger, as I mentioned, her snout, her face. She, um, Briere is a little bit more delicate. Also body type, because Gaia is a little bit deeper and Briere is a little bit wider as far as how they are carrying their pregnancy. So and even though they're twins, even though they're sisters, they do have differences. And that's actually what I want to do or what I wanted to do when I kept them both. Both of these girls, the twins, are coming out of one of the, the best does. Oh, look at that. Nothing but motherly love over there. So I, I needed to keep them both in order to learn. You know, no matter what people say, no matter if you post pictures on confirmation websites or whatever, sometimes you will never know how they are going to develop, even though they're twins, even though they look very similar. So yeah, that is why I kept them both. It's more because I'm not too experienced and because I'm curious, to be honest with you. I think that comparing the twins, it's going to be one of the greatest things things now, after they have the babies and I'm able to evaluate others and I'm able to evaluate how good of a mother they are it's just going to help me understand a little bit better and hopefully in this during this kidding season look at those sisters over there during this kidding season I can make decisions um, kind of from the get-go to be able to keep some I think I now I have a little bit more experience I can see what I like I can see what I, I appreciate what traits turn into something that I want in my herd it's all a learning uh, curve or I'm going through that learning curve and trying to evaluate but I to be honest with you, do not regret keeping both of the twins. I think there's nothing better than to have a litter mate being kept with another one to be able to compare. Now, if you remember, Mocha is um, the sister of Annabelle. Annabelle is down there with her little girl. And Mocha and Annabelle could not be more different. Um, I love them both. I think they are especially in different ways. And Mocha is just what I like about her dariness, what I like about her udder, what I like about, you know, um, her body structure. 
but then I look at Annabelle and Annabelle is way easier to milk because she is more willing to be milked she never holds back her milk it's just you know and here mocha and here is mocha being a little bit more fidgety on the milking stand she you know tries to uh, hold back as much milk as she can for her babies granted last year she had quads so it makes sense she was holding back but you know mocha I love a lot of things about her, but I also love a, a lot of things about Annabelle, despite the fact that Annabelle doesn't produce the same amount of milk that Mocha does. So, yes, they're very, very different. They are sister from the same litter. They, you know, you can you can even tell the difference as far as how they look on the on the outside. You know, their pattern and everything. They're not as similar as Gaia and Brie are. But um, you can also get to see the differences in their bodies, their production, you know, and all those things that are fun to compare. So when I kept the twins, I knew that I wanted to have that comparison and nothing better than to have two almost identical uh, doughs on the outside to kind of... Um, follow around, see how they freshen, see how many babies they have, see, um, you know, their udders, their length of teeth, and all those things that will help me evaluate them. I have Briere here. She's making weird noises with her belly. But um, it's almost like the same that I wanted to to do with Mocha and Annabelle when I got them as sisters. That wasn't the, you know, idea of why I got them as sisters. When I contacted Arisha at Hanson Never Done Farms, she was moving to Oklahoma and I so I was offered Clara, the mischievous Clara over there and Annabelle, the, the one with the blue eyes over there. She offered me those two and then when I went to see them, meet them, she offered Mocha and that's what sealed the deal. I thought that would be perfect. They're sisters from the same litter. They are, they look different, despite from some people that say they're just brown goats. They're not. Um, and I've always a buckskin, it's a red buckskin. And um, Mocha is a chamoise with um, a lot of kind of random white. And Clara is like a true chamoise. Look at Annabelle and both of her little girls. The other one is looking down, but look. Isn't that the cutest thing in the world? They just love to be with her mom. They want to be on her mom 24-7. Who is that? What's that pretty girl? Somebody who likes scratches in the belly. Ooh, no scratches in the belly. No. <laughs> you talking to your baby? Do you know you have babies in the belly? Hello, pretty girly. Come here. Oh my goodness, she is like, nope. No thanks. Oh, Gaia. Oh, Gaia. Me wanna be, my wanna be your heart queen. You do want to be my hurt queen, don't you, Ma? No, you're not there yet, sweet girl. Kaya keeps surprising me with her udder. I am kind of keeping a close eye on her because her udder is kind of exploding right now. And she doesn't look that big. Like, if I had to guess at this point, I would say she's going to have one. But... Her udder compared to her sister, which is Bria over there, it's uh, yeah, night and day, and they are four days apart to kid. Bria is on the fourth, and Gaia is on the first with Clara. Where were you guys? <laughs> I'm not gonna feed you, it's not dinner time yet. Yep. Even if you come back, I'm not gonna feed you. Oh goodness. 